if you have gone through my video on RH alloaminization, red cell alloaminization, it will be easy for you to solve MCQs of that chapter from any of your regular MCQ books. There is this one particular question which I wanted to discuss, though the answer given in your books is correct. The explanation is not properly given. The question says which test is done to differentiate fetal RBCs from maternal RBCs. Now look at the question. You have to know what they're trying to ask. Probably it's a memory based question so not has not been put up properly. Here they want to differentiate between fetal red blood cells and maternal red blood cells. They do not want to quantify fetal red blood cells in maternal blood. That would be a different question. This is just, there's blood and I want to know whether it has majority of fetal red blood cells or maternal red blood cells. So I want you to differentiate it from fetal maternal hemorrhage. They're not asking about fetal maternal hemorrhage as in RH sensitization. They are asking us about bleeding in vasa previa, whether the bleeding is from the mother or from the baby is what the question is trying to ask which test you will do in this condition. Now Vesa Previa, before you answer this question, let's discuss Vesa Previa in, a, uh, in brief. This is a condition where fetal blood vessels lie just over the os so that when membranes rupture, this is what bleeds. And in such conditions, the fetus exsanguinates very fast. So you need a test which is very fast. Right, Clairvetke test, as you all know, it is used to quantitate fetal maternal hemorrhage. Right, and this test is going to take 45 minutes because you have to count at least 2000 fetal cells before you give the percentage. So, this is out of question. All right, we cannot take 45 minutes and we do not need to quantitate. Then there's this osmotic fragility testing, this is used in this, the, this, this is the principle of Nestroff test used in thalassemia. Bubble test is a test done for lung maturity on amniotic fluid. So your answer is apt. Let's see in a little more detail about Vesa Previa and the tests done to it. Vesa Previa, like here you can see the vessel is dividing in the membranes before it enters the placenta. And suppose this part of the membrane just overlies the os here. If it lies here, when you do an ARM or when spontaneous rupture of membrane occurs, what will bleed is the fetal blood. And the fetus will exsanguinate very fast. That is called Vesa Previa. This is where you need to differentiate between fetal RBCs and maternal RBCs and that has to be quick. Alright, so you don't need to look into the microscope and decide. You need tests which will be quick. These tests which are available are apt test, ojita and lender loot. All these tests, the average time they take is 5 minutes versus 45 minutes time taken in Clair-Bedke test. The principle, what was the principle of Clair-Bedke? Clair-Bedke relies on the principle of acid elution that is Fetal hemoglobin is more resistant to acid elution than maternal adult hemoglobin. The principle here is also similar. The substance uses an alkali. It's an alkali elution test. Fetal blood cells containing fetal fetal blood cells containing fetal hemoglobin are more resistant to alkali elution as compared to maternal blood. Out of these, the most sensitive one is Ojita. And it takes 5 minutes. So you will do uh, Ojita if the option has one of these answers. One of these uh, is there as the options, then that's the answer. Now what could be a cause of false positive test? False positive apt Ojita or Clier Betke. Since the principle is fetal hemoglobin, HBF, any condition, oh, that's a bad handwriting, HBF. Right, so any condition where HBF is rising in the mother, you will have a false positive test. Which are these? Beta thalassemia and sickle cell disease. So these are the conditions where you can have a false positive apt Ojita or Clairvetke test. Alright, 